Hi, welcome back again. We're going to draw a cactus together. We can add some textures and even some patterns in the background. We're gonna start our picture off with a rectangle in the center of our paper. The paper is vertical, so we can have a nice tall picture. So here we go, a rectangle. This is gonna be the beginning of a plant container. And we're gonna draw the bottom of it. It's going to have angled sides. So it's a little bit narrower at the bottom than it is the top. All right, now let's begin with the cactus. This cactus is going to be made with a series of curved lines. You might think of them as a rainbow line. And if at any time I am drawing and it goes too fast, pause the video, rewind, catch back up to where you need to be. I'll be right here. We're gonna make one tall curved line at the top of the flower pot. And we're going to hook on a few little pieces growing off the side of our cactus. They almost look like paddles. You can make a few or you can make a lot. I don't want it to necessarily be even on both the left and right side. So we can add a few more spots on one piece and we do the other. Now we need some texture on our cactus. This cactus is kind of prickly, so we are going to add some lines to show that it is a prickly cactus. You don't need a bunch of them, just enough to make it look as if the cactus is prickly. Allow some to be inside and some to come outside of the line as well. You might have some close together, some far apart. I think that looks pretty good. I might add one right here. All right, so now we have a cactus. We can add a background. And for my background this evening, I'm going to add a sun and maybe even make it look like it is a sunset. So I'm gonna start with my horizon line where my cactus is sitting on the ground and the sky is behind my cactus. I'm going to add a nice long curved line stopping when I get to a line hopping over to the other side. There we go and I want this sun to be a little bit more fun so I'm going to add a few more curved lines. Each time I get to a line I stop hop over and finish on the other side. And one more line just for fun. I'm gonna make this one a little bit closer. Now in between these lines, I'm going to add some patterns and I'm going to use a triangle pattern or a zigzag line. So I'm going to begin with the bottom curve I'm going to allow this one to go all the way to the top of the next curve line. And inside these triangles, I'm going to add some smaller triangles or zigzag lines in between.
I can color those spaces in or leave them blank. I'm going to add another set of zigzag lines in this space here. I'm going to make these ones a little bit smaller. They are not going to touch the line above. I like the repetition of this project, the different shapes, the different lines, the texture that is added. All right, I'm going to double that zigzag line up just for fun. If you feel like using a different line, go right ahead. Maybe you want to use a broken line, a curved line, a few straight lines. Maybe you want to leave it blank or add some different shapes. Circles, rectangles, squares. Those would be fun. Nothing has to be perfect. Make it your very own. All right. I am going to add some bigger lines in the back here. And I'm going to make these, again, another zigzag line, but I'm going to make these lines a little bit more fun. I'm imagining the hot sun shining and going down. All right. I feel like that needs a little bit more. I'm going to add a triangle inside each one and fill that space in. The variety with the bold black spaces is really going to make your picture change. You can make thick lines, thin lines, thick spaces, thin spaces. I'm going to cover that little prickly thorn up. That is okay. Almost finished. All right. So I have my sun going down behind my cactus. And I want to add a little bit more to the sky. So I'm going to choose a different kind of line or a different kind of texture to add to the background. I've got prepared for you so you can see different kinds of lines that you could use. Maybe circles hooked together with a straight line. Maybe you want some broken lines. You could do stars or snowflakes or bursts in the sky. Maybe you just want to use wavy lines. There's a variety of lines that you can use. I think I'm going to choose a series of curly lines, and those will look like this. You might call them spirals. Pause this if you would like to look and see the different kinds of lines and textures that could be added to your picture. I'm going to go with a series of these. Here we go. I'm going to begin right here. I'll add a few of these spirals before I fill in the rest of the background. I like that it looks like wind blowing on this hot, hot cactus night. And I'm going to allow one to run off the edge over here. There we go. Maybe one coming in from the side this direction too. Okay, looking pretty good. I want to fill this in so I have a very full pattern background. I'm going to mimic my curved lines. When I get to a line, I can stop. I can fill up all of this space or all of this space continuing on. The 
This is all up to you how you feel your picture needs to look. Add some of these curly cues in between my sun rays. All right. Let me know what you think of this video. I would love to see finished pictures that you create. You can share those with me. You can share those with your family and create a way. Have a lot of fun. Enjoy what you do. And remember, it's all about creating. All right. I think the top is finished. I'm going to add free hugs down here to the bottom. Prickly cactus, free hugs. I like the fun. I'm going to make my letters start with a rectangle on the back and then add in the rest of the letter. I'm going to do all capitals. By adding the rectangles first, I start to see a little bit more of my spacing. Free hugs. I have to get a little bit smaller down here because the space is narrower. U is a little bit different there. And G will be a little bit different as well. If you struggle making an S, bigger on the top, smaller on the bottom, and come right back underneath, smaller on the top, bigger on the bottom. Add a few more little texture lines here. I think I like my picture. Here's one I made from earlier today. You can see it's very similar. It's a little bit different. I added some texture to the ground, or I didn't add it here. Have fun coloring, fill in with line and texture, and I'll put this at the end of the video one more time, just in case you would like to see more of the textures and patterns. I'll try to make another video with a little bit more simple drawing of a cactus if you want to join in fun with that one. Have a good night.